Hey everyone, Tog here, and welcome to Nightbook, where we are tricked into reading an ancient book that summons a demon into our home. Don't, don't, don't come in, don't come in. Dad, it's me. I've got your dinner. No, no. You said curry was your favorite. Since you're staying with us for a bit, I want you to be happy. Look, we don't need to talk or anything. No, 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 no don't, don't. <sighs> now, quickly, quickly. What? You look perfect. How depressing. Good evening, Cody. Ready when you are. You start. I'm just going to turn my camera off for a sec.
the God's Hand Archipelago boasts some of the most beautiful sites in the North Pacific Ocean. Perhaps none more so than its largest island, Lepus. However, despite this, there is very little development on the island and no tourists. The Neem Bato Hotel Group, in conjunction with Quinton Engineering, is proposing the development of the Iowa Well Cove site into a luxury 35-room hotel, spa, and scuba diving complex. And services de plongée with masks and scaphandres. Our consultation period has already begun, and we know that you will be as committed as we are to bringing this project to fruition with the minimum disruption to the natural landscape and wildlife of this beautiful bay. Our preliminary planning application is before the God's Hand Island Council, and we hope that you will join us in making our proposition the best it can be for the local economy and employment prospects so that construction can begin early next year, ready to open our doors the following year. Et une promesse de création d'emplois pour que les travaux puissent commencer au début de l'année prochaine et que ce nouveau complexe ouvre ses portes l'année suivante. We hope to... I will welcome you soon. Nous sommes une compagnie tournée vers le futur et nous espérons vous servir dans un futur proche. Right, uh, let's have a little look then, shall we? Uh, well, I forgot the word for scuba diving and... Yeah, because that's a word you hear every day. I tried to keep up the pace, but I wasn't fast enough. He was talking really fast. Look, there was a golden half second there where I really thought you had it. You were getting the gist across, nice, simple and quick. And then you went straight back to trying to get it exactly right. Can we do another one? What? No. Oh, please, your advice is so valuable to me. I know I can do better. You know what I think? I think you should cut yourself a break. This is interpreting, not translation. You don't have to be word fucking perfect. There is... There isn't... There isn't time. Speaking of which... What was that? N nothing. Okay, uh, give me 15 minutes to clear some emails, then uh, let's get this ship started. What's the matter? I'm just down the hall trying to be professional and you're banging on the walls. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. This is stupid. <sighs> Dad, come on. This is ridiculous. You need to come out. But I can't. I, I, I don't want to put you and the baby in danger. Then why did you come here? Because Pierce has gone off to that place. Le, le pouce Il n'a même pas été encore sur l'île. Uh, le, le pouce, il n'a pas encore été sur l'île island yet. Mais quand il does, il va revenir avec eux et nous devons être prêts. Dad, il n'y a pas de curse. Donc, je suis juste une personne crazy et c'est ça Je suis pas sûr que ce soit ça. Ah. 
I think your evil spirits would go away if you listened to your doctor. You're not well, Dad. At least that's honest. I'm just worried it's getting worse. Oh, well, they must have heard about your fiancé's development. How is Pierce? He's fine. How are you? And the baby? Please don't change the subject. Fine. It's you all right. They are getting stronger, and there is only so much that I can do to stop them. I want you to lock me in. What? I can't resist them for much longer, and God knows what happens when I'm asleep. I need you to lock me in. I don't want to hurt you. Fine, I'll lock you in. Good, I just hope it's enough. I need to go back to work. Are you translating to French or that Lapousse language? The fact that I speak canard makes me very employable. Nah. That language is dangerous and so is that island. I need this job, okay? For me. Well, I'll do what I can to keep him quiet. Thanks. Good night, Dad. Try to get some sleep. Yeah, sleep is the last thing I should be doing at night. Hey, gorgeous. How's it going? Yeah, good. Good? You mean Cody's not being a pain? Well, actually, she wants me to cut myself a break, so... Yeah, well, she'd be interpreting for the United Nations if she was so great. Don't worry about Cody. We both know you work best under pressure. Anything new with you? Well, the investors want more site surveys that they don't want to pay for, and... The locals want us to leave, but they also want us to give them jobs. Mm, I'm sure you'll sort it all out. I absolutely will. Is your father still in our house? Yeah. Any better? Mm, not really. That security system's the best investment I ever made. Just keep feeding Ms. Meds, okay? It'll be fine. It's not much longer now. I'll get this project sorted, and then the three of us will be out on the poos. No time. Well, my dad has vowed never to set foot on that island again. What? No. The three of us. You, me, and our little IVF miracle in there. Oh. <laughs> you tell me you're still pregnant. Yes, we, of course. <laughs> the three of us. Uh... Laura Lynn, I have a treat for you. What, what is it? <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah, it's cute. But uh, don't you think it's a bit early to be buying clothes? No. Why? Um, oh, I, I, I've got to go. Uh, uh, take it easy, okay? That's our little prince in there, and I'll speak to you later. Love you.
You're in demand tonight. Two calls. Both need someone who can speak Canar. Perfect. I've got a call between two businessmen. Uh, someone called Teron. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Wants someone to authenticate a book before he buys it. And at the same time, I've got a kid who wants to speak to his mother. Um, I think they're estranged. He says he knows you, Max Vito. Oh, I know Max. I'm teaching him Canar. I guess you want Max then. Sounds like the other one would be better for my career, no? I'll take the business call then. Please, Cody. Okay, I'll put you on. I'll be popping in and out to monitor as usual. Remember, you don't need to be perfect. Bonsoir. Bienvenue chez Glossalingua. Avez-vous déjà utilisé nos services Oui. On m'a dit que vous saviez lire le canard. Oui. Bah, C'est un rare don, de ce côté du globe. Merci. Good evening, my name is Loraline. I'm an interpreter with Glossalingua. One of our account holders would like to speak with you. Are you willing to accept the call Connecting you now. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How was your flight? Uh, yes, well, okay. Voilà. J'ai bien peur qu'on ait atteint les limites de mes And capacités. And that is the extent of my English, I'm afraid. Right. Well, never mind. Good morning. Bonjour. Enfin, enfin bonsoir. Ah. Bonsoir. Good evening. Yeah, evening. I meant evening. <laughs> well, anyway, shall we crack on? Eh bien, commençons. I received your email. Bien reçu Just wanted to know how you became aware that I had this title. Mais en effet, je l'ai bien. It's a very valuable and treasured possession. But I may be persuaded to part with it. Give me my price. Mais seulement juste prix. Je comprends bien. Mais avant tout, je understand, vous but si je before we continue too far, I wonder, may I see it? Anyone would think you don't trust me. On pourrait croire que vous ne me faites pas confiance. Ce n'est pas du tout ça. Not at all. There we are. Magnifique. Uh, it's beautiful. It's expensive. Il coûte cher. Évidemment. Of course. J'aimerais savoir, Monsieur Vito, si vous seriez prêt à me I would be curious, Mr. Vito, if you would oblige me with the story of how you happened to come by this book. Hey. Uh, hein? uh, je vous demande pardon. I beg your pardon? What did he say? Qu'est-ce qu'il dit? Qu'est-ce que j'ai dit? Mais j'ai dit que je serais curieux oh, uh, de connaître l'histoire uh, de comment vous avez dit chez lui. I said I would love to learn the story of... of the story. There's this French missionary, uh, 18th century or whatever, and he sent out to God's Hand Island to convert the locals to Christianity. Uh, three years later, he returns to France preaching about how they know more about hell than he ever did, and that evil spirits would follow him. Et qu'il était poursuivi par de mauvais esprits. Bon, excusez-moi, mademoiselle, notre interprète Loraline, puis-je vous demander ce qui pose problème Je ne me fais pas assez bien comprendre. Oh non, je, je suis vraiment désolée. J'essaye je, de rester, en fait, j'essaye de rester très précise dans mon interprétation, mais je crois que cela embrouille, Monsieur Vito. Ah, vous êtes trop précise. C'est bien ça le problème. Bah, c'est plutôt moi qui ne, sois, qui ne suis pas assez clair, non Oh, non, ce, ce n'est vraiment pas à moi d'en juger. Pardon. Ne vous inquiétez pas, je n'ai l'habitude. Un de mes collègues me le dit tout le temps. Alors, ah. Bon, je vais essayer de rester concis. Et vous, restez précise. J'apprécie la précision. S'il vous plaît, 
Pouvez-vous me Please. dire d'où vient Will you ce tell me where this book came from Maybe later. Uh, Peut-être plus tard. D'accord. Um, ok. Est-ce que je pourrais voir le colophon Thank you. Um, Excusez-moi, Monsieur Théron, l'oraline ici. Euh, Est-ce que vous voulez bien répéter Vous avez dit colophon. Je vais être sûr de ne pas me tromper. C'est un terme technique. C'est la même chose en anglais. Oh. Monsieur Vito saura ce que je veux dire. D'accord, merci. Mais ici, de colophon. Colophon. Monsieur Théron seemed to think you would know what it meant. Ah, c'est Internet. Quoi Hurry up. Containing the publisher's mark and copyright and printing information, typically at the front of the book. Thank you. There you are. Le voilà. Superbe. Excellent. Je voulais juste vous dire, Loraline, que j'apprécie beaucoup vos efforts. J'accorde vraiment beaucoup d'importance à la précision. What's he saying? Oh, uh, it's hard to hear. Uh, I don't think he's expecting me to interpret. Est-ce que je pourrais voir une page de texte? May une page I avec see a du page canard. full of text, something with canard. Yeah. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Lisez juste en canard, s'il vous plaît. Je n'ai pas besoin de traduction. Um, qui anem opum palusi, leva muva juko, tolo yuti deju rembula, itg, itg, itg. Was that what you were hoping for? Euh, Est-ce que c'est ce que vous cherchez Oui, tout à fait. Uh, yes, it was. Merci, c'était parfait. Bon, j'ai besoin de réfléchir un peu. Euh, ne vous inquiétez pas. Uh, I, I need to think about je this. Veux acheter. I have no fear. I am now very serious about buying this book, but I have another appointment now. Est-ce que je peux vous Can rappeler I dans une heure you in an hour? C'est-à-dire qu'il est déjà assez tard ici. Bah, je peux faire en sorte que cela en vaille vraiment la peine. Je peux faire en sorte que cela en vaille vraiment la peine. Ok. D'accord. Une heure. Une heure. Je n'attendrai pas plus longtemps. Très bien, merci. Bien sûr, merci. À tout à l'heure. À tout à l'heure. Alors, ça fait longtemps que vous êtes traductrice. Euh... Interprète. Je ne suis pas vraiment traductrice. <rire> Je vois. Eh bien, euh, dites-moi si vous avez des problèmes. Le canard est une langue sacrée qui a été inventée pour communiquer avec les esprits. Ça peut créer des problèmes chez certaines personnes. Ça va aller. Merci.
c'est pas vrai. Monsieur Théron. Je m'excuse, mais je n'ai pas beaucoup de temps à vous consacrer. Euh, Qu'est-ce qui se passe euh, Comme vous le savez, le canard est une langue sacrée utilisée autrefois uniquement pour s'adresser aux esprits. Eh bien, je crois que j'ai dérangé de vieux esprits tout à l'heure. Ça, c'est très curieux. Mon père ne va pas bien. Et après notre appel, une chose étrange s'est produite. Et... Une, une ombre est apparue et il s'est mis à marcher comme s'il était sous l'emprise de quelque chose. Et vous pensez que c'est à cause du passage que vous avez lu en canard Je sais pas. Est-ce que vous pensez que c'est possible Je ne suis pas sûr. C'est vrai qu'on entend des histoires étranges de personnes qui auraient eu des comportements anormaux après avoir entendu parler de canard. Mais je n'y ai jamais trop cru. Pourquoi voulez-vous acheter ce livre Bonne question. Et la réponse Vous êtes direct, vous. Écoutez, je suis désolé, mais je vais devoir... Attendez. S'il vous plaît, vous voulez bien m'aider Les légendes de la région disent que les esprits ne peuvent pas se manifester sans la présence de la mangrove. Et alors ben Alors, euh, le livre de Monsieur Vito est à Londres. J'imagine que vous aussi Oui, mais c'est mon père qui le hante. Ben, écoutez, je ne suis pas en train de vous dire que je comprends ce qui se passe. Mais si l'on en croit, les légendes, une solution pourrait être de détruire ce livre. Ce qui veut dire que, qu'idéalement, vous voulez que j'achète un livre pour que vous puissiez y mettre le feu. Ça, ce n'est pas quelque chose que j'ai particulièrement envie de faire.
Vous vous sauveriez, vous aussi. Imaginez ce qu'il aurait pu arriver si vous aviez acheté ce livre et si vous l'aviez lu. C'est vrai. Bon, c'est d'accord. On doit le détruire. Mais je ne, peux pas vous, je ne peux pas vous promettre des ressources inépuisables. Si le livre est trop cher, bah, nous serons tous les deux coincés. Bon, il faut que je me prépare avant de parler à, à Vito. Je vous rappelle dans quelques minutes. Oui. Okay. Vous avez pris la bonne décision. Hello. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. J'aimerais commencer, si vous me permettez, par I'd like vous to start, if I may, by reminding you of your promise. Oh. Oh. Bon, je suis conscient du fait que. Now I'm aware that maybe there is just the smallest of possibilities. Uh, I don't want to offend you, but it struck me that perhaps that book took a somewhat uh, circuitous route into your possession. You what? Ce qui veut dire que si vous n'avez pas la paperasse nécessaire à la vente, that is to say, if you lack the full paperwork for this item, it should be reflected in the price. Uh, Loraline here, Monsieur Théron is uh, reminding you of your promise to say where the book came from. Oh yeah, that. You can tell Mr. Théron that I inherited it. Uh, J'en ai hérité. Intéressant. Par qui? Interesting. Who from? A guy named Dubois. Un certain Dubois. Je vois. I see. Anything else? I was under bon, the impression that we had a deal, question. that you were vous satisfied. Vous avez dit que vous étiez prêt à acheter. Je pensais que ça voulait dire que vous étiez satisfait. Presque. Vous voudrez bien me montrer... Very nearly. Would you mind showing me vous what condition the book is in? Caméra. Just hold it up to the camera. <laughs> J'aimerais surtout voir la tranche. Um, Monsieur Théron is asking to see. Uh, um, got it, the forage. Uh, what's that? Uh, the uh, edges of the pages of a book when pushed together to form a surface. Oh. Parfait. Excellent. Pourriez-vous faire you fan pages, vous some pages out for me? Pour me faire plaisir. Humor me. Laissez-les retomber tout doucement. Ease them back gently. Je dois avouer que je suis un peu déçu. I must confess I'm a little disappointed, but let's see if we can still come to an agreement. Ça va? Uh, yes, uh, ça va, uh, I'm fine. Where were we? Indiquez votre prix, Monsieur Vito. Uh, 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 name your price, Monsieur Vito. My price? 
is five million Lapouche francs. Mon prix est... 5 millions de francs le pouce. I'm sorry, Monsieur Vito. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. What? I'm sorry. Désolé. Vraiment. Je suis désolé. Monsieur Vito, my dad has been a bit strange. After I read this passage today, he really lost it. There was this shadow and... If you're messing with me because of what happened to my wife, just let me warn you, that is a dangerous path. What happened to your wife? Does it have something to do with Canard? You want the book? Yes, please. That's my father in there going mad. I need to do something. All right, all right. I'll scan the pages for you. Is that what you want? I'll scan all the pages and send them over to you. Thank you. Right. God knows how long it will take Vito to scan it. Get out. Police, please. Allô? Allô?
Okay. Dad? Stop distracting humans. Uh, now, uh, uh, protect the great tree. Stop the human destroyers. <laughs> what can you repeat? Perrier. Uh, Perrier <laughs> Kawa. <laughs> In Hong Kong, you help us. Me? I'm not helping you. We are two grim you brutal toys. You are our vessel. Uh, Bulawi Pilamenhenko. Hawking Palusi in Charlie Protect the great trees, stop the human destroyers. Pierce, you want me to stop Pierce and the development? In Hong Kong. You help us? No, I didn't mean to call you, it was a mistake. Sevori. You will help us. Or we will end those loved by you. And hang Kodiju. Laurelin? Dad! What's happening? Don't worry, I've sorted it. Get some rest. Everything is going to be okay. Hi, uh, Laura Lynn. Uh, sorry, I know I promised we would do another practice session this evening. Oh. I'm having a bit of a weird one. Oh. Probably these uh, night shifts. I swear I can hear someone speaking Kana. What's going on? Uh, 
I need you to keep our family safe. Okay, of, of course. But what's wrong? Everything okay? I tell you, but I need you to believe me. Okay, I'll believe you. What's up? The repose curse is real. Laura Lynn? You said you'd believe me. Oh, come on. It's one thing, all this with the Islanders, but you two? I really don't need this. Maybe they have a point. <laughs> They've attacked Dad. They've attacked me. You need to give in on these pills. Just stop the project. You're the only one who can. You know, I knew working these night shifts was a bad idea while you were pregnant. What? You need to get some rest. No. You're being hysterical. I'll square it with Cody. No! I have to get back to a meeting. I'll have my sister come over and spend a couple nights with you. <gasps> Love you, babe. Get some rest. It's a trap. Stop! 